in the previous video what we have seen is r flip flop sr flip flop okay so the both have a drawback uh, where r is separate and s is separate both the inputs are separate and then uh, it has two outputs q and q bar the drawback in this is uh, giving one one is an undesirable condition it is called forbidden condition but when both are given one then latch uh, 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 we cannot predict the output of this and that is undesirable when that will take place in or flip flop this is an undesirable condition in sr also uh, giving both 0 0 is said to be an undesirable condition okay so now uh, and uh, so how to avoid that by giving for both s and r both are connected uh, two and one input and uh, so when s is one see uh, it can be connected like this when s is one uh, r is given as a complement so when this is one this will be definitely zero when this is zero this will be one so giving both one is avoided here so that particular problem is eliminated so to eliminate the undesirable condition of the indeterminate state in the rs flip flop is to ensure that inputs s and r are never equal to one at the same time so this uh, this is eliminated the condition of uh, forbidden okay that is eliminated by giving the same input but for one direct input and for the other one complement so uh, as we have seen here one given its complement only will go that now then a uh, clock to latch here the clock is given right now uh, what is the output we'll discuss the output uh, during the negative edge degree it works here we we have connected the clock pulse in such a way that it works during the positive edge degree so during the negative edge degree uh, whatever may be that is when the clock is this pushed whatever is in the whether it is one or zero don't cut there is there will be no change in the memory also the previous state of the memory will be there then during the positive edge triggering when the clock pulse is a positive clock pulse and when d is zero q is it is given q is also zero okay when d is zero when uh, when d is zero then q is also zero and q bar will be one when during the clock pulse positive edge triggering when d is one q also will have one and uh, q bar will be zero now we'll see the output uh, sorry how we now we'll see the circuit diagram of so we'll draw this okay uh, uh, We'll check this. We will draw the circuit diagram and we'll check. So we have to use the NAND gate. So here, the NAND gate is there. And output. So now the Output of this first state is given as a input for the circuit, right? So this is called feedback, feedback, right? Now for this, yes. Now this output is another input for this, and then here we have. We are connecting the clock pulse. So in wiring, you can find the clock. Okay. Now we are both the here we are doing the antenna. And okay. Now we check the uh table so this is what our fifth table right now 
linear paths initially both are zero and the clock pulse is also in a negative h degree so whatever is that previous one it remains that now during the positive clock pulse now the zero goes inside the zero is pushed here one okay for this is set and this is reset so zero is pushed so it is storing the zero value q and q bar is one so whatever is in r reset or one here it reply now when now again i am changing this uh, there is no change now when i change this to one also there will be no change because this is a negative h degree now i am making it positive h degree at that time this one goes there so now q is one and q bar is zero so now during the clock pulse the data will be pushed in whether it is a zero or one so this is how it works so at a time you cannot give both one or at a time you cannot give both zero so that particular problem is avoided here now if you see this we will discuss about the uh, timing diagram so now this is a regular interval of clock pulse okay whatever it is you have to draw the clock pulse initially like this then you can draw the uh, input and output now let us imagine our input is like this okay uh, for some time it is that then it goes low then it like like how we have changed the uh, input okay now we are going to predict the q based on this now see here it's it's remaining the low yeah and during the positive edge degree now it has gone there and now it is still it is in the positive edge degree so at that time it rises okay d is becoming one so immediately the output goes high and it remains there and here what happens uh, d is there and after that it goes low during the negative edge degree uh, there is no change till it is one one day input is one one day it remains there during the negative edge degree uh, as well as the next positive edge degree also d is remaining the one okay then here what happens it goes low when it goes low it is nothing but negative edge degree right during the negative edge degree since as i already told you during the negative edge degree there will be no change in the q so here it remains there okay so do you first you should understand during any positive edge degree only there will be a change so if you see this here there is a positive edge degree and at that time d changes okay then it rises and it remains there during the negative edge degree there is no change here still it is one so it remains there that is why we have two output here then here there is a negative edge here during the negative edge degree here already it is in trailing and here here only it changes from 1 to 0 so it checks what it is Uh, here it is a negative edge so now uh, what happened there is no change because the change takes place only during the positive edge degree now during this see here it started to uh, move upward that is positive edge at that time the it checks what is the value of d it is zero so now it goes down the output goes down and still remains that now this is here it is zero zero only so now what happens Uh, uh during the positive edge triggering the the whatever the input is reflected here then it goes down this is a negative edge triggering uh, there will be no change it remains in the previous state only then again it is going upward that is positive edge triggering still it is zero only so here also it remains that zero then here it is negative edge triggering here it goes up at that time it goes up but see there is no change because during negative edge triggering there will be no change then again it goes up okay Uh, when it goes up during the positive edge degree and at that time this has become one okay already it has started one but because of this negative edge degree there will be no change but during the positive edge degree as it senses a one immediately that one is reflected so now it goes high same way you can check see at any negative edge degree the the previous output is remain there will be no change in output but when uh, positive edge degree takes place then immediately whatever is in the input that will be reflected okay so this is how you have to analyze the uh, timing diagram 